Aaron Pierre is land as Green Lantern. Big freaking deal. The other big yeah. freaking deal had nothing to do with Marvel or DC, but we got to yes. talk about it. Henry Cavill, man, we called it how long ago? I gotta give it up. And you, Pat, you gotta, yeah. Pat we did this show again like a month ago. <laughs> And they're not announcing who he is, but it's obvious to us. Yeah, I think there's a second character he could be, but let's get into that. Which would be who? Well, let's the talk. Let's, with the let's talk about. The, let's talk about. <laughs> no, let's talk about the obvious, and then we'll talk about the less obvious one. Okay, I, I think it's a possibility. So go ahead. We, it's official. <laughs> Henry Cavill is in Voltron, <sighs> and either somebody's listening to our show or Brian. The fact that there are other intelligent life forms out there thinking the same thing, Brian. So shout outs to you guys who made this happen because it's the only obvious thing I think you can do if, Brian, if we think he's going to be Prince Lotor, Lotor, but you're saying that he may be someone else. So number one, I think we got to give a little shout out to Amazon here. Yeah, because I don't think it's a coincidence that Henry Cavill gets to do the Warhammer show for Amazon and then an Amazon backed Voltron movie gets him as a lead role. To me, that smells very much of uh, we're working together here. You we give you something, you give us give us something. Yeah, And I think Amazon probably went to his agent and said, as we said, they want to go young kids, or younger Voltron force, as we got from the Daniel Quinn toy announcement, lesser knowns. That's great. But we need an anchor. Yeah. somebody other than just Voltron itself to get people talking. And so this is the guy in house effectively that can really do that. They don't say the character. Uh, obviously Prince Lotor is just like, I mean, the Witcher basically is Prince Lotor. And so That's why I changed the thumbnail. On the <laughs> just sort of like, everyone's going to see that parallel immediately. I think Cavill also, even if we didn't have the Witcher role, if you watch the original cartoon, so much of Lotor's personality, Cavill's voice, his look, yeah. you can just see the translation all throughout yeah, that yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, such yeah. a natural um, version brought to life. And I'm, I'm excited because even though it was a cartoon in the 80s, Lotor's a fun villain. Like yeah. He gets to do a lot. He has a lot of lines. Is the kind of thing that you could expand in a movie format to make the character legitimately interesting. He's interested in Allura. Like, there's all these things that make him more than just sort of, I don't know, Cobra Commander or something like a little more one note. Yeah, um, was he often his character sort of... Um, I would use the, the, the comparison of, uh, let's say, Star Wars, meaning... He was in that gray area sometimes. Yeah, because like he would get be... in trouble with Zarkon. Remember, Zarkon would come down on him for things he would do. He wasn't unilaterally evil. He had his That's own what design. made him interesting, yes. Yeah, and he kind of had like, there was a little bit of Starscream Megatron where he like kind of wanted to do his own thing and like screw over Zarkon at points. And so that's what I mean. Like this, I, I hope it's Cavill who's doing this because I think the character is the most interesting character, you, really honestly, like in the show. Like yeah, in yeah, the movie, yeah. I really do think you can make it that way. Yeah. Um, the only other one I could see him playing if they wanted him on the hero side would be Shiro, which came in a later version of Voltron. Um, but if so, Shiro was like grown up. That's why I bring it up because like the young Voltron, he was the leader of the Vol. He he basically sort of almost supplanted the guy with the collar. Um, in a later version, and he was sort of an adult character who was the leader of these five young pilots. Mm -hmm. That would be the other role that technically he, he would be cut out for. I just think it would leave some of his acting talent on the table to not have him do Lotor and be channel more of the quasi villainy that he even shows or the two sidedness that he shows in The Witcher and channel more of that into the into 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 a Voltron role. So I'd be a little more disappointed if it turns out to be that, but um, Lotor to me is the one that makes sense, and I think it's the goal. I think it's the role that is gold for him if he does. Oh it. yeah, 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 yeah. Interesting, Brian. Let's see if they make that and that that connection that he needs to be Lotor, Lotor because of that complexity that he has and him trying to romance. You want to see him tr trying to romance Prince Ariel, yo? That would be like dope to see if he could do it. <laughs> You know, 
So that yeah. would mean, by the way, I would also say, I just put out, that would mean that Allura has to be a little bit older than Daniel Quintoy. <laughs> So that yes. would be uncomfortable. Yes, yes, and yes, yes, kinda, yes. It's funny. The show never draws her as that, but it is sort of inferred she is more mature than the boy than the boys in the you know. We would have to wait and see, Brian, to yeah, see because like Sven was older, right? Sven yes. was older. She seemed a little older, and then like Pidge, Keith were younger. Hunk seemed at least he acted younger. I don't, I don't know. So like we'll see what they go with like this this crew. We'll know when once once they cast Princess Alora. Oh. We'll know what that is all about. Well, the funny thing is, okay, so you brought this up previously. <laughs> so the argument for him not doing low tour would be Henry Cavill says, This is too much like the Witcher. I don't want to have two roles where I've got white hair, I'm wielding, you know, wielding some kind of sword and and I'm playing someone who's in the gray area. That would be like if he, that, I could see him as an actor saying that because you sometimes get that from, from the cast. You, it's funny, you brought up Freya Allen as somebody you wanted as Allura. Freya Allen, of course, is Siri in The Witcher. So yeah. if they did it, it would be a reunion of two actors who have done this dance in some form already. Um, so yeah. just for what it's worth. So I mean, I would, if, if it was Lothar, I would tell him, you're not going to be playing it like The Witcher. You're not going to be quiet or grunting all the time. You're going to be more of a charming, yet, you know, not evil, but certainly ruthless when you need to be. You'll play that, that, that gray line, but you wouldn't play it similarly to, to, to him. You will be a lot more, you will have a little bit more fun with it. You know, I think it's a great pitch. I still yeah. think for, I still think Cavill has been underutilized in Hollywood as that. I think yeah. there's a you know other than Man from Uncle, I honestly don't think people have trusted him enough with his vocal talent. And yeah. this is a role where Lotar talks a lot, like in, in the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. he would be. He yeah, you know, that would be the pitch. Uh, yeah, let us know in the conversation below what you guys think of that portrayal of Prince Lot Lotor or. Would you do you think Shiro is 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 a possibility as well? And does it really not take advantage of the possibility of him playing Prince Lotto and what he can bring to that character? Because nobody knows Shiro. I think. I mean, I don't know him. I, I'm more OG Voltron, right? Yeah, that's the thing. You and I are that. I'm just saying that is a newer yeah. version that has yeah. some notoriety. Like I think in that version, if I remember right, if I think in that version, like Pidge is a girl um mm. boy but like i said they're younger that's the only thing that got me wondering because they cast a pretty young actor as presume see they didn't say daniel quinn toy's role either i'm assuming he's keith based on the visual maybe he's pidge who knows they put him in some hair i don't know as the lead <laughs> so they said he's the lead. i mean he's a lead he's the lead uh... i mean keith has to be the leader of the yeah force yeah, though yeah, so yeah, yeah, i assume yeah. he's a keith but let's see man is that let's see let's see I... We're getting it. Certainly, we don't want garbage, but you got to make this fun for us, man. At least don't, 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 don't super, don't street fighter us. No, I'm, I, you know, Henry Cavill needs a big win, and I appreciate that he's going to try this for us. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah.